there. This is Kristen from Battle Creek Honey Bees. It's a beautiful 57 degrees here in Middle Tennessee, and we are going to show you our way of painting a hive. Many of you may have purchased your very first hive, and it needs to be painted, and you may be wondering, how do I do that? So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step of how we do it. Your hive should look like this. You should have a bottom board. You should have a deep. Ours is a 10 frame deep. You may have gotten an eight frame. Either one is fine. And then there's the top cover. And inside the top cover, you have your inner cover, which we're not going to paint that today. We're just going to paint the outside. This is the supplies that we have. We're gonna have everything listed on our website. So if you wanna see a step-by-step -step guide of how we've painted this hive today, you can go on and take a look there. I will also have all the products listed that we like to use. And uh, so go to www.battlecreekhoneybees.com, click on the education tab, and you will see all of these items listed. So we keep our apiaries in the traditional white. So I've got the white paint. I like to use a two inch paintbrush. I just feel like that gives me a nice coverage and it's big enough to get into the groove. So I'm gonna use the two inch paintbrush. Of course, the stir the opener, and some gloves. So let's get started. First we're gonna start with the bottom board. I've gone ahead and painted the outside, but what I want you to focus on as you're painting is to make sure you get in to the grooves here that surrounds the screen. So you have your screen and you wanna make sure you get those grooves real well to seal any moisture out. That's what the paint does get you some more paint go along the bottom here this is where the bees land so we want to make sure we get it real good if you get some paint on the screen that's okay it usually just wears off you're gonna make sure you get make sure you get the front of this too see how this has some grooves in there as well you're gonna take your paint and Sometimes it takes some extra paint, but you want to get right in there. Make sure you get all of those grooves in there sealed. And once you have all the top of your bottom board painted, get your paint real flat. Make sure you don't have anything. Then you're going to go back and get the underneath. You want your entire bottom board painted, top and bottom. So there we have it. All the sides are painted. I'm gonna let it dry. And we always put two coats on ours. Two coat seals that roll well. So here's what your bottom board should look like. I'm gonna do this one side real quick. I see where I missed a spot on the inside. See, see if I can get it where you can see it down there. You don't want any paint spots or, or runs. Sometimes that makes your lines stick together. So just make it as smooth as you can. I'm gonna let this dry and we'll move on to the deep. All right, so let's move on to the deep. Now I've already painted three sides of this. What I wanted to focus on and show you is how important it is to get down in the grooves. When you take your paint and you first go over it, it doesn't get it. But this is the part that you really want to seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint, go over it once. Just like this. Don't forget your handle. Sometimes it's hard to forget that underneath the handle is wood as well. So we're going to take our paint and make sure we get under there real good. So the paint goes on pretty smooth, but then again, look on this side, see? It doesn't go in. So here's what you do. You get some extra paint on your paintbrush, and you go in and you've got to dab it like this to get into the holes. It's usually where the nails are, these extra ends. I'm gonna get that extra paint on there, make it real smooth. And now again, we use two coats. So when I come back through on the second coat, I'll fill in more of those holes. It's got its first one in there. 
We're going to get the top part here. Come over and do this side. Got some extra paint on my brush. Dab. Dab to get that paint in there. Dab some more. And then you want to smooth it out. You got to smooth it on both sides because it runs over onto the other side. So you're just going back and forth here, just like this. Dabbing, smoothing. Dab and smooth. Put that in the hole, see? All right, make sure you get the top part too, all the way around. We're gonna let this dry. Put a second coat on it, and it's ready to go. So this is our final piece of the hive that we're going to be painting. This is the top cover. Again, I've already painted the three sides. Uh, you need to make sure you go around and paint all four sides. Just get your paint on there. Make sure you get down into this top part here. Nice. You also want to paint the flap right in here. This gets those grooves sealed very well. I really enjoy painting and have painted since my college days. So this is refreshing for me to be able to get outside and, and paint this. I've got quite a bit left, as you can see. But I'll come back and show you the final product. All right, here we are with our final product. Our 10 frame hive is ready for spring and ready for bees. Which reminds me, one of the most important things you want to make sure you do now in January is order your bees. There are many places to order from. We also have nooks available. If you want to visit our website at www.battlecreekhoneybees.com, click on the tab that says bees for sale. You can order your nooks. Thank you for joining us today. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and please like us below if this video was helpful and leave us some comments. See you soon.